Hey, through night sent me this TC20 to do a review on, and I want to put up some real good beam shots in case anybody's interested in just what the potential of this light has. So we're going to go ahead, run through the ropes on a little bit, talk about it, and then we're going to go ahead and do some real good beam shots. As far as accessories, you're going to start out with, you get a little metal clip, a ring, and two spare O-rings, cover for the charging port, and a rubber cap for the switch, and then through night's lanyard. This light is also charged through the supplied micro USB charging cable. This also has Through Night's heavy duty holster. I really like these. I've uh, had quite a few of them and you can't really ask for much more out of a holster. This light also comes supplied with Through Night's 5000 milliamp 26650 battery. These are some wicked batteries. Now as far as brightness and modes, you can look up at all the actual specs, but Firefly a half a lumen for 37 days with that battery on upwards to turbo at 3800 lumens. They say for 130 minutes, I think it drops down. But needless to say, high 1800 lumens for almost two and a half hours. That's wicked out of a flashlight with one battery. And then 320 meters of throw. That throw is a real wide beam, which you will see once we go out and do the beam shots. Now the charging port on this light is on the side, and it opens quite easily, works quite well. And as far as the switch... It's one single switch where if you push the switch on, when your light's on, you got your little blue indicator. Now that'll be red if it needs to be charged, and it also flashes blue while it's charging. This is running Cree's second generation XHP70 emitter. This thing uh, does get a little warm. It's driven hard, but not too bad actually. Let's go do some beam shots. All right, we got some wind going on out here, and it's cold, so I'm going to have to try to hurry a little bit. Right there, what we're looking at as a tree is at 62 meters away, and I'm holding the TN12 right now. What I'm going to do is turn this on. Make There's turbo right there. This is a TN12 at 62 meters. Here comes the TC20, and that's that turbo. Now, if you notice the light, this is the neutral light versus the cool white, so it doesn't throw as quite as far as the cool white, but it gives a lot richer color. TC20 and the TN12, big difference. TC20, TN12. Now moving down, that tree right there is 94 meters behind that brush along the road, and this is the TN12 at 94 meters and there's the TC20 94 meters away look at that thing now, while we're sitting here we might as well do this hillside back there right there that tree line starting about 140 moving its way down to over 190 meters away back in there and you can easily see what's going on back there. You know, if there's an animal or something, you'd be able to pick it out. That's the TC-20 at roughly 190 meters. There's a TN-12. Now we're going to do a hillside. There's a TN-12 up to 230 meters. Kind of hard to see, even with there's snow on the ground. TN-12, TC-20. That thing takes a wide swath, look at that. Just a well-balanced light output for such a small flashlight. Pretty awesome. Let's hit a little closer. I got my yard lights on. That's a 100-watt equivalent light bulb. A couple other ones, actually. But this is with the TN12, if you notice. that, Like I said, that 
uh, anybody interested in that cool white light, this is what it looks like versus the neutral. If I were to step that down, do a little bit comparison, this is a TC20, of course. That little apple tree down there is about 45 meters away. Right there is medium, and this is in my yard. It's lighting everything up quite well. Look at that. Switch to high. More than enough. Incredibly long battery life. I mean, it'll draw. It's unreal amount of light output for how small this is. And again, turbo. Look at that. As far as the lowest setting, you can see it. It's a little bit more close range, I'd say. If that was kicked up just a tiny bit, that'd be perfect. But I'd say about 10, 20 feet away, it's ideal. All right, right now I got some extremely bright HID headlights on high beam on my car. And we're going to compare this light to them. I'll stand up next to the headlights. That's what you can expect on turbo. TC20, the regular car headlights. Look at that. Even on high, I mean, it's taken about as wide of a swath as car headlights, even on high, and actually brighter than HIDs. Pretty awesome. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna see when I turn the light on, but I got beavers cutting trees down right by my yard. We're gonna click this thing on. Turn it down a little. That's high. There's medium. I'm gonna walk down the road and shine in there a little. This thing pretty much lights everything up. Didn't see no beavers this time. But back there in that corner, I mean, you're looking at way out into that field, well over 100 meters out there. I'm going to take a walk down the road to about 70 meters back and then shine back at the camera. All right, it's 14 degrees out right now. It's getting colder and colder and the wind's picking up. So that's enough for the light shining. So there you go, the Through Night TC20. It's a wicked light. Short, compact, extremely long battery life, good throw, and very good spill. Go ahead and check that link out down below for this light and other Through Nights. Pretty wicked. So there you go. Till the next time.